Okay, the next thing we're going to learn today is how to make a shape go from a shape to a form just using value. So I'd like to start with a circle. And whenever I say that, the first thing people say is, do you have something I can trace? You don't need to trace anything. What I like to do is use my hand just to kind of make a circle without actually putting my pencil down. So I kind of get used to the feel of where I want my circle to be. And then when I feel like my circle is going to be a circle, I just lightly draw it in. Okay, great. So there's my circle, there's my shape. But how do I make that shape look like a form? Well, first you have to decide where the light source is coming from. Because light really tells us if something's going to have a lighter value or a darker value. So if I make my light over here, So there's my light. It is coming from the left. That means as I diagonally go across, this is going to be the area where my shadow is because the light is going to hit here on my sphere. So this part is going to be lighter and the value is going to get darker as it goes across the sphere. So since this is right farthest away from the light source, I know that this is going to be the darkest value. So I'm going to start there. I'm going to put my dark value in first. Now, you'll notice as I'm going that I am adding value in a curved motion. I'm not going back and forth straight. I'm curving my value because this form is going to look curved when it's done. And I know that if the form is actually curved, then the light is going to hit it in that curved way and it will look like the values change to match the shape of the object. As I'm adding value to, I always like to move my paper around. Don't feel like you have to keep your sketchbook in one position. Um, because I know this is going to be my lightest value, I'm just going to lay in a light value right here. I don't even know if it's showing up on the screen because it is so light, but that's okay. I want it to be super light. Um, and I'll show you why as we get closer towards the middle. Um, so as I get closer towards the middle, it's going to be a little bit more, less rounded um, because we're looking at it straight on. But you can see that the value is getting a little bit darker as I go down towards that dark area. That's the darkest value in my sphere. And you can take as much time as you want to do this. It's not something that you have to race through. You can add light layers at a time till you get something that makes you happy. Um, you can go back and look at it after putting it away for a little while if you feel like that helps you. Um, so now that I have my value mostly laid in, um, and again, it looks so different um, for me than it does on the camera, but I think you can see how the value has changed. I'm going to take the new little clean spot of my tissue or in this case, napkin, and I'm going to blend those values together. Okay, so I have blended those values together. You can see that I just accidentally made a dark spot right here because I blended over something that had with my dark um, on it in my, on my, um, these words, on my napkin but I can go in and add that. Now I know that even though I see light values here, I know that right where that light hits, it's gonna be super bright. So I'm gonna pull a little bit of that white back out so that we can kind of see that. Then, because I know this is the darkest values down here, I wanna add a little bit more because I think those got a little bit lost. I'm going to blend them a little bit more too. But here's what's going to make it look really like a sphere, guys. 
once I add my shadow, then all of a sudden it's going to look like it's sitting on the page. Because without the shadow, it just looks like a circle that's got value. But once I add the shadow in, it places the object on the page. It starts to look a lot more realistic. And shadows are, have value too. They're darkest underneath the object. And as you get farther away from it, it's going to get a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. Now, depending on what kind of light you have, sometimes your shadow makes an actual shape that looks like the object itself. Maybe it's a little bit longer, maybe it's a little bit extended, or maybe it just diffuses out all the way. That is your choice since you are not drawing from observation today. You are just practicing this. You are free to add that shadow where you think it will work the best. So there is my sphere and my shadow. Now you give it a try.